Today, it's all about glowing health issues, and the one glow nobody can escape is the sun. So we invited eye surgeon Dr. Carrie Asiel from the Asiel Eye Institute in Beverly Hills to help all of us understand how light from the sun can affect our eyes. Dr. Seal, thanks for being here. Let's go ahead and get to our first question. And it came to us from Selena in Boca Raton, Florida, who writes, hi, doctors. I love sunsets, but is it safe to look directly at the sun as it's going down? Is it ever safe to look at the sun, Dr. Seal? That's a great question. Certainly, we're dependent on the sun for our very existence, but staring at the sun can be literally permanently blinding. When we're looking at a sunset, we want to be able to uh, consider how low it is in the sky. As long as it's still yellow or bothersome to the eye, it's very dangerous to look at it. In this example, for example, you wouldn't want to be staring at this sunset just yet. You want to wait till it's gone lower on the horizon and started to change color, as we see here, to orange or red. And even then, you don't want to stare at it incessantly. You want to give yourself little breaks where you look off to the side. We certainly see chronic damage from chronic sun exposure all the time. We see uh, people who get tumors on their eyelids, on the surface of their eye. Uh, we have an example here of a cataract, which is the most common cause of uh, vision loss requiring surgery that's accelerated by the sun. Another example is what's referred to as snow blindness. Being in high altitude, you get both the UV radiation from the sky and from the snow. And in this case, we see that the front of the eyes become completely dry and chapped. And people who work outside and play outside, uh, tennis players and so forth, get another condition called a pterygium. That's a growth on the front surface of their eye. This can completely grow over the uh, entire surface of the eye. We see it in surfers, baseball players, golfers. And it requires surgery, actually, in this case, uh, just like a cataract does. In this case, we're seeing uh, a patient that I recently treated for uh, pterygium removal. And uh, we have to remove that scab from the surface of the eye and then replace it with a healthy foundation going forward. And I think we would all agree that you do not want to stare at the sun any way, anyhow. And one of the reasons is right is because the retina doesn't have pain receptors. So right, so you might be looking at a Fabulous. very bright light. Now, it's not bothering you, but the damage is happening. Absolutely. Absolutely. And this Absolutely. is true even if you have glasses on. This is true even if you have glasses yeah. on. Very that good point. So remember that. Just because you put glasses boxes. on, it protects you from UV light, mm -hmm. but it doesn't protect you from just staring at the sun I, directly. I'm finding so this very interesting. interesting. Have you seen stuff. cases of snow blindness in the ER? I actually have because I used to work at in altitude. Colorado. And the amount of burning that takes place at that altitude and the eyes, if people forget their sunglasses and they're out, you know, oh, maybe man. you're trying to hike in the snow or you're snow skiing, it doesn't take long. Oh, yeah. But do most patients recover after that? If it's brief exposure, yes. If you've really done a good job of uh, being out for too long, uh, you can have permanent damage. In fact, when we take images of the retina, you can see the little tiny central part that's for center vision that's sometimes literally gotten fried.